Hi, I'm Kevin Creighton with AmbleMan.com. Today on the School of Guns, we're going to be looking at rock salt shotgun rounds. So rock salt and shotguns are one of those little pieces of internet lore that have been around for oh, decades, if not centuries. I mean, we've all heard stories about how great uncle Bill chased away a pack of coyotes from the herd by shooting a couple of barrels of rock salt at the mangy critters. And it's actually made an appearance in a James Bond movie. I'm not going to tell you which one, but double extra bonus points if you figure it out. This particular uh, shell that we've got was preloaded from a place called Gum Gully Outfitters. There's about, oh, 0.8 of an ounce worth of rock salt in there. There's a little fibrous disc here that um, kind of pushes the rock salt out when it's fired, and there's a little plastic cap just to keep everything together. Uh, when it fired, actually, it was from the muzzle. The muzzle velocity you know, was surprisingly quick. It was about 800 feet per second, but it quickly got rid of its energy very fast. And when it hit the target, which in this case was a block of clear ballistics gel covered with four layers of heavy cloth, which is an industry standard for penetration testing, it made a spectacular pattern on the front cloth. And actually, if one crystal did penetrate through all the four layers of cloth into the gel itself, which means that it will cause some damage. How did it do on the bare gel where we didn't put the cloth in front of it? Well, I'm not going to tell you that. You're going to have to read the article to figure that out. But that penetration through the four layers of heavy cloth does give me pause because this is a shot shell. This is not a precision weapon. You really don't know where all these crystals are going to hit. And when you fire, it's pretty spectacular. There's this cloud of white dust and that's, that pops up. And the, like I say, the front of the cloth gets really dimpled, which is fine up until the point where you realize that that could easily hit somebody in the eye. And then they're gonna, there's the potential for blinding, and that's grievous bodily harm. And that's something you really don't want to be on the hook for. So, is it a less lethal round? Yeah, actually it is. Is it something that I would recommend? No, not at all. I mean, it's, it's fun, it's cute, it makes a nice big noise. And yeah, it's, made, you know, it's fun to tell stories about how you know you protected the homestead with the rock salt and the double barrel, but really, it's a novelty round. Treat it as such. Don't really use it for anything serious at all. As always, stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you on the range.